What's up Wolfpack, Noct here, and thank you so much for coming to my first YouTube guide video. We hit 50,000 followers on TikTok and it's blows, it blows my mind. Never would I have thought that any of the content I make would get blown up to that degree, but here we are. This is our first guide video that we're doing for YouTube and it's gonna be on how to get started in OBS. Now, before we get started, you know we've got a show pet, so make sure that you take a snapshot of your pet, post it in Discord, and maybe we'll feature your pet on the next video. Now, you wanna start streaming, but you're not really sure where to start. The first thing you're going to need is a broadcasting software that's going to allow you to take all of your gameplay footage and your audio and put it all together and send it to your streaming platform of choice. Today's guide is going to be on how to use open broadcast software or OBS to do just that. First thing we're gonna go over is how to get the software. So you're just gonna pull up Google. You're gonna come right here and you're gonna type OBS, easy. First link, click that, and easy, OBS Studio. That's the software that you will want to pick up. All you gotta do is click Windows, and boom, your download will start. But you'll see, once you download OBS and you open it for the first time, it's pretty blank. There's not a whole lot here and you're gonna have to kind of fill it in. A basic breakdown of what all of these things are, are this is what your stream's going to look like, your preview. Your scenes are each individual collection of gameplay footage, of cameras, of effects. It's all of that stuff put into one scene. Your sources are each individual asset, so your video camera, your gameplay footage, your effects, each one of those individually builds a scene. So those are your sources. Your sources come together and build a scene and you can have multiple scenes. The audio mixer that you see here allows you to tune your desktop audio in relation to your microphone audio. If you use a capture card, your Elgato audio will show up here uh, as well as any audio from say a VR headset. To make a basic scene in OBS, it's pretty simple. You just click the plus here, scroll up till you see display capture. We're gonna go ahead and add that to our scene. It's gonna pick which desktop we want to capture. We click OK and wow, infinite number of OBS screens. But if you have a game up, that's what we'll show here. Let's say you want to add a camera to this scene. You click the plus, you scroll up until you see video capture device. You click OK. And then you just pick which video capture device you'd like to select. You can see here I have a separate camera set up on the screen. That's our uh, VR camera over there that we use for streaming. But I will also say that not everybody uses a camera and it's totally fine to not use one. We'll have a guide coming out soon on how to add in a uh, VTuber avatar too. Now using display capture is not the most efficient way to capture your gameplay. The most efficient way to capture your gameplay is to use a game capture. To find that, all you have to do is hit the plus sign, scroll up to game capture, hit okay. And then you can either have it select any full screen application that's currently up or find a specific window. Let's say you've got your whole gaming set up on screen right now. You've got your gameplay, you've got your camera, you've got your effects all on screen, but you don't have a just chatting scene. Let's make one of those. So when you wanna make a new scene, you go over to your scenes right here. You go down to the plus, name your new scene. And boom, now you have a whole separate one that you can switch back and forth between. For our just chatting scene, we're going to click plus. We're going to click media source. This is if you want to add in, say, a moving background to whatever it is in the back. So we're just going to pick something out of here. Let's see. See, now we've got our video on screen. That's going to be our backdrop. We're just going to pull that out so it fills the whole thing. Now, if I want to add that same camera that I did before, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to click that plus. We're gonna click the video capture device, but in, we already have this camera in use. So we're gonna click add existing. We're gonna click video capture device here. We're gonna click okay. And that same camera that we added before is showing up right here. Another type of source you can use here is a text source. So if you hit plus, go to text, and then you can add a new text and it's just gonna say just chatting. The cool thing is, you can scroll down and you can actually outline it so it's more visible on screen. So we're going to make our outline for depth. We're also going to make our outline black. It's going to pop just a little bit more against the background there. And there we go. Just chatting. 
All of this stuff is pretty basic. This can get as in depth as you want to take it. This can get as fancy as you want to take it. Here, let me show you some of the scenes that I have built for my personal streaming setup. This is the scene I use for just chatting. My cam box would normally be in the big box, my Twitch chat in the little box. My name is up there with my socials as well as a thank you to recent followers, subs, and our monthly goal. This is normally my gameplay scene. I've got my face cam box over there, my sub goal, bit goal, dono goal, and recent events to thank people that follow. Now the great thing about OBS is that it is extremely customizable. What you see right here that's labeled scenes, it's labeled sources, it's labeled audio mixer, those are all docs. Even what my cam was covering just before, where all of your settings are, where it says start streaming, start recording, all of that, is a dock. And underneath of that, there's actually an option to switch between that and scene transitions. If you wanna add custom transitions to OBS, that's where you would do it. All of that to say that all of these docs are customizable. You can also put docs on either side of your preview or above it. To add more docs, all you have to do is go up to view, docs, and then click the ones that you want to use. I use Twitch chat, for example. But if you use music during your stream or if you have a subscription to Monster Cat Gold, you can always link your playlist here too. If the dock that you want is not here, don't worry. You can always add custom browser docs. View, docs, custom browser docs. And you can add the custom ones that you want to use. These are all completely modular too. I can click and drag these out to fill any of these slots. Now we're gonna get into the nitty gritty, the settings. Once you've got all your docs in place, your scenes are built, all of that fun stuff's done where you've customized it to fit your needs for your stream, you're gonna wanna set up to actually start streaming. To do that, move to the bottom right, click settings, and it's gonna pull up your settings box. Once you're in settings, you're gonna wanna go to the stream tab, make sure Twitch is selected, and connect account. That's gonna allow you to sign on to your Twitch account, it'll link the two together, easy as that. If the single sign-on doesn't work, you can always go to your Twitch dashboard and find your stream key. Once you've found it, you come into this tab, type custom, and then paste your stream key in here. That will link OBS to your Twitch. Once you've got your Twitch set up, drop down to the output tab. From here, what you're going to do is instead of output mode simple, you're gonna pick advanced. Yes, you can do this. Now, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, it's important to make sure that you're using the NVIDIA NVENC new encoder. This is also where you're going to wanna to set your bit rate based on your internet speeds. I have pretty fast internet, so I'm gonna set mine at 6,000 kilobytes a second. We're gonna to get to the rescale output here in just a minute. Now I'm gonna drop down to the audio tab. In the audio tab, this is where you set up your gameplay audio, your microphone, any other audio devices that you may want to put in to your broadcast. For desktop audio, I'm gonna make sure and select where my speakers are playing to. My headphones. For my mic, I'm also going to select NVIDIA Broadcast because I'm using NVIDIA Broadcast to mitigate sound in the room. Double check your setup on whether you wanna have mono or stereo sound, and then also make sure that in your sound settings on your computer, the sample rate here matches what your computer is putting out. The next tab down is video. The screen that I am looking at right now runs in 1080. However, streaming to Twitch in 1080 poses multiple problems. One, you can't get more than 30 FPS with a 6,000 bit rate on Twitch. Depending on the traffic to Twitch, you might be able to push a little higher than 6K, but Twitch is gonna throttle you back down if you're not a partner. The second issue is because affiliates don't always get the option to transcode their broadcasts. Transcoding is when a viewer with poor internet is able to change the resolution of your stream so that they can watch without buffering. If you're not getting transcoding options and you're streaming at 1080, you're gonna be isolating viewers with poor internet that might not be able to tune in. Your best bet to solve these problems is to not stream in 1080. You want to downscale your stream. And that's what the downscaling filter does. If your computer can handle it, use Lanzos for 36 samples. You're not gonna lose as much quality downscaling from 1080. But if you run into issues, you can still use Bicubic with 16 samples and it's still gonna look just fine. Make sure your FPS is set to 60. Back in output, I'm gonna click rescale output and i'm going to decide what output resolution i want to put out to twitch i use 1664 by 936 it is the resolution between 1080 and 720 it's a nice happy medium between the two but test your own setup make sure that your internet can handle the resolution that you want to stream to 
Finally, this last tab is hotkeys. This is where you can hotkey different effects. If you want to have a face cam zoom effect, you can hotkey it to your numpad, to any keys on your keyboard, and have it pop up and pop off of your screen at will. It's kind of like having a uh, bootleg poor man stream deck. Now you're ready to go. Experiment and have fun. Diving in and messing around and getting hands on with the software is really the best way to learn. So get in there and have fun customizing OBS to your stream. What do you want our next guide to be on? I have a couple ideas, but I want to hear from you. So make sure to leave a comment down below on what you want the next guide video to be on. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week for our next Wolfpack guide video. Ow, ow.